Okay, now we're going to learn the most interesting move. I'm sure everybody has been uh, waiting for. I call it leg block, uh, knee block, but uh, it's not really knee block. It's uh, something uh, together with roll. So you guys uh, can choose how you're going to call it, but it's very interesting. First, your left leg is going between his leg, and it's going very far. And your head follow your own leg, and you do roll. So here we have his leg, and we will be able to finish him. What you need to do to finish him? You need to squeeze your own leg like this. It's already painful. And you have to pull all leg. And right now, I'm be able to break it. So you, of course, will be able to break it too. So let's, let's just try to learn. Now, I will show you why the best way to start to learn this move is right from here. Watch. What we have? We have same thing like, like we already had. So, return to same position, please, Andrei. This is position we have after I fall down. Watch. My leg between his legs, and uh, I'm between his legs also. So, what should I do right now? I'm kicking him right now, and uh, he fell down. And now, like I already told you, we squeeze your own legs and pull his leg. And he will tap out. Okay, right now, guys, please pay attention. Everybody saw this move, but not everybody knows how to do it right. We're going to learn it on steps. One, two, three. So the one is bring it up very tight. Two, squeeze your elbow. And a three to turn bone like I do. This part has to be exactly right here. This is the pain. So when we do it together, one, two, three, you don't have to forget to squeeze your uh, knee, make keep his knee uh, in the uh, same position, and uh, bring your body down. This is the way to make him tap out. He feels hello it hurts. And uh, now I will show you several different ways uh, how you, you can uh, use it, how you can do it. Very effective. The first way, when you already grabbed his ankle, you use your leg. You remember I told you, use all parts of your body. And uh, push his leg over his another leg, like this and push it away from you. You see, right now he cannot reach you, he cannot uh, try to kick you, but uh, I'm keeping his leg straight and very tight. This is the key for this move. This is when you can be able, I will be able to break it. Yes, this is the hurt. This is the one way. Second way, if you put your leg between his leg like this, and don't, don't uh, put it right here, put it, keep it right here, between his legs. Why? Because when you control another leg, he's not going to be able uh, to get up. Try. Yes. My knee will always push him, push him back. And I have uh, plenty of time to take care of this business. So right now I will do slow and we'll just finish. This is exactly the best way to do this. Next move we call a heel hook. That's a very dangerous move. That's why it's illegal on many types of competitions. It's legal in uh, military combat samba, but uh, illegal in uh, sport samba. This is the way how to do it. When you have his leg right here, you pull your arm behind his heel and uh, grab your own hands like that. So, you see, his foot is very tight right here. And now, 
I'm bringing his foot up and uh, turning it like that. At the same time, I'm pushing his body away and I'm still squeezing his leg, make it tight, make it uh, keep in the same position. Yes. He feels pain in the knee. He feels pain right here. So he doesn't really know where he feels pain. He just uh, wants to tap out. That's, uh, you can do it, guys. I believe it. Next move is uh, really my special. Not everybody in the uh, former Soviet Union could uh, do this. It uh, was my specialty. So this is uh, exactly an uh, ankle lock. But it's a different way you have to use. You have to use only your legs and nothing else. What you have to do, you put his foot right here, right in the middle, this place. And we also can uh, put line right here. So that's not so far like that, not so close like that, so exactly in the middle. And now that leg is going over. Over like this, and we have luck here. And uh, before we will start learning this part, pay attention what I'm doing here. My elbow control his knee, keep it in the same position. Same time, my hands protect my neck uh, from the choke. But I don't think so many people will be able to choke me right now because of I will be faster. I already got from here. And I suggest you also to control another leg. Maybe by your own elbow, but uh, this is the way to keep him in this position. So let's come back here. First, what I suggest you, this is, looks like a scissor. This leg will bring it up, this leg is going down. It's already painful, but it's not the same uh, move. It's a kind of a fake, kind of surprise for him. He already feels pain. And now, this is the surprise. My legs is going down that way, and uh, I, I bring my hip up. And uh, same time, elbow pushing his uh, knee down like this. So, let me see how it works together. We're trying to bring our body, make our body straight. Yes. I'll be able to finish him, not only finish, I'll be able uh, to break his ankle right now because of I have that much distance I can use. So, in a couple of seconds, he would find his foot right there. The next move we call tofu. It's a still very dangerous move. Watch. You have to grab his foot right here, not too close to his uh, heel, exactly right in the middle. So your arm is going between his leg and grab your own arm right here. He already feels pain. He already doesn't want to continue, do you? No. Yes. And uh, right now you just turn it like that, and uh, still you have to push his body away from you and uh, keep it tight. Yes, that's it. Another way, when you can start to do this, when you are between his legs. So you are grab it the same way, and turn it the same way too. But this part of your body has to control his knee, keep it in the same position. He's not gonna be able to choke you because of there is no way. He doesn't control your body, he's so far. You see how big distance between us. So let's guys do it. Next move probably will call a knee block by your own legs. That's pretty weird, but uh, that's a very effective move and I'm sure not many people saw it before. So what you do, if somebody trying to kick you and you grab his leg, you just uh, pull it right here. So you can control it by your own hand, by your own head, and also uh, by your own shoulder. So it's tight.